Hey folks, I am Troy and today we're going to talk a little bit about what web browser you should be using with Design Space. So the Cricut system requirements are for a Windows PC, Internet Explorer, Chrome, or Firefox. With a Mac, it is Safari, Chrome, or Firefox. So pretty much Chrome or Firefox or the native browser comes in your system. For, for Windows, that's Internet Explorer, and for Mac, that's, that's Safari. So all things being equal, you should be able to use Design Space in any of those three browsers without any issues. However, a lot of people experience different things with different browsers. And I'm not talking about subtle differences like Print Then Cut may have a smaller print area in one browser than the other or something like that. I'm talking about performance and stability issues and crashes and plugging won't load or, or whatever those are. And so I'll explain to you why that happens. Over time, when you buy a new Windows PC, it comes with Internet Explorer, and you start using that, and everything seems fine, and then over time, you start to notice performance issues, or maybe some plug-in crashes, or flash plug-in crash, something like that happens, and you might call Cricut Support, or you may post a question on Facebook, and someone responds and says, well, if you're using Internet Explorer, I had problems with that too, so why don't you download Chrome and install it? And you download Chrome and everything works great for a while. Everything, you know, and then things start to, similar things may happen. Or you may, you know, call support and they say, hey, download Firefox. Or someone on Facebook tells you to download Firefox. So that's what they use. And everything works great for a while. Same thing starts happening. And so uh, a lot of people have posted that uh, they have removed Chrome or they've removed Firefox and reinstalled it fresh and everything it fixed their problems magically the reason is because when you do that you're killing all those additional plugins and extensions that have gotten onto your system over time and cleared everything out and started fresh and it's going to do the same thing that's going to work great for a while if the same things start to happen over a period of time how do these plugins get in your system? How does malware get in your system and viruses and spyware and ad pop-ups and all these things? How does that get on your system? It doesn't have anything to do with the browser security necessarily. A lot of people say, well, Firefox is more secure than Internet Explorer or whatever it is. And that's not necessarily the case anymore. And even when it was the case, it was just not necessarily security holes, but more poor design. So Internet Explorer made it real easy for websites to exploit the consumer and it would give them pop-ups that would maybe tell them they have a virus and you're still websites to do that and it says click here to clean your system and when you click on it it actually downloads the virus or spyware or adware whatever it is onto your computer and that doesn't happen near as much anymore but it does still happen so when people say a virus got onto my system or I, you know, malware got onto my system, more than likely the person using that computer is the one that installed it. You're the one behind the wheel doing the driving. So you, whether you realize it or not, have clicked on something or allowed something to install on your computer. It doesn't just magically happen. So what do I use? I use Firefox for design space. For 99% of my design space work, I use Firefox. Uh, Chrome has a little bit of a printing issue when doing print and cut that I don't like. And I'm, you know, I'm a tech head, so I, you know, choose to use Firefox to get around that. And I also use it to isolate my design space. So there's another video I have on my channel called How I Make Design Space Go Zoom Zoom. And I'll put the link on the screen right now so that you can click on it and watch that video as well. Because there are several things in there that you can do to your computer. And it's a lot of general computer maintenance things to take care of your PC to keep everything running good, not just design space. But the reason I use Firefox is because I use Chrome for 99% of my other browsing activity. So when I'm on Facebook and Gmail, I'm a real big Google user of the Google pro family of products. So I use Chrome for all of that stuff and use Firefox for design space to isolate the processes. So when I'm using Chrome and something happens, maybe Chrome's you know, crashes or you know, hits a website it doesn't like, it goes down but doesn't affect Firefox. They're two separate processes. So I do that just to keep it isolated. And I explain that a little bit more and along with other things in that other video. So I really w recommend watching that. So which browser should you use? The one that works the best for you, the one you like the best. They should all work pretty much equally as well, all things being equal. Unfortunately, most things are not equal on 
systems and from system to system and if someone's getting different results with Chrome than the next person then there's something on that system that's different from the other system so uh, hopefully that's been educational to you I just wanted to take time to share that information and hopefully people will begin to understand why you should use certain browsers or not use certain browsers and you know really focus on taking care of your system keeping it clean keeping the adware and the malware off of it minimizing what you're doing with it and you will be a much happier design space user. If you're interested in my support services or consulting services, please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information. Additionally, you can go to patreon.com slash troyyoung to help support my channel. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.